I got maggots in my pocket. <laughs> it's 1312. It's considered candy. Well, you think of that. Well, good to see you, friend. You hungry? I'm just cooking up some grub. Pull up a seat. Let me continue the story. Well, it was a rainy one. After I got my bounty license, I went to the post office to gather my supplies that I was going to need that night. I was going to meet up with the boys in Rhodes. That's where we had our first bounty poster. Theodore Gordon. He downed a deputy during a dispute and is wanted dead or alive. It was going well until it wasn't. Felt like we ran halfway to McFarland Ranch. All that hard work just for a bounty to get away. We put our tails between our legs and went back to Rhodes for another bounty. Maddie Crowder. She stabbed a group of people and stole their horses. So we went off to find her. After that job, the group decided to see what bounties were on the board in St. Denis. The money wasn't bad, just not what we were hoping for. Rachel Grant. She had hired a hatchet man to kill Mr. Indica Palmer of Valentine. It was a pretty straightforward bounty until the end. We was real close to dropping off Miss Grant at the jail, but one of the boys let her escape off the back of their horse. I got her. And then it was a whole circus event just trying to get her back. Thankfully, we didn't get too far. We messed up a few more times, but then got the hang of it. We even did a legendary bounty. Oh, friend, you'll love this. Listen to this one. Johnny and I had gone up to Strawberry after hearing about some no good and happening out there. He took on the bounty for Hap Moorhouse. He was involved in a foiled conspiracy to fake a kidnapping and secure the ransom. All was going fine. 
I was surveying the camp from a safe distance. I was about to rush in. But then I noticed the bounty wasn't in the group of men I saw. One. Oh, never mind. I found him nearby fishing alone. I rush in to secure the bounty, tie him up, and I put him on the back of the horse. Everything's going crazy. Fucking Janet decides right now is the best time to go for a swim. <laughs> I'm trying so hard to get her out of the damn water. Bullets are flying everywhere. I'm freaking out. Jesus Christ. I finally get her out of the water and we take our bounty to the transport wagon. Friend, look me in the eyes. You ever shit yourself while riding a horse? Well, as we were taking Hap to meet the jail wagon, God smited us with this giant albino gator. Oh. That's when my pants went brown. Johnny lost his mind and wanted to go chase down the gator. But it ran over the nearest mountain like it owed somebody money. Don't let it get away. I just don't know what this world is coming to. tell you what it is, it's the end of days. The whole world is out of whack. Because later that evening, God smited us once again. They even have a fancy gun. For 600 bucks. Demon creatures come into existence. Do the legendary thing in front of us. Pistachio! Giant snow panthers. I killed it. And they destroyed us. It was too much to bear. What the fuck is going on? Pick up my hat. The game's acting up, that's why. Well, of course, somebody's scripting. Here we go. 
two of these each for one of us. We can't skirt. A nice little chunk of change or even gold. Fucking giant gator spot on us. Fucking giant wolf. Ghost panthers. Did a few more bounties and then spent my earnings on a new horse and some new clothes. That game's fucked up right now. Where'd my hat go? In the end, I had to resort to good old sturgeon fishing to help me afford to reinforce lasso. <laughs> well, friend, it's been a crazy past couple days, eh? Well, it's about time I continue on my road. It's been good seeing you again. I hope we can do this again sometime soon. I quite enjoy our time together telling stories. Hit that follow and like and maybe I'll see you soon. So pretty. Such a nice guy. Shit. Yeah!